Hey, Richard Grove, how are you today? Um, as you get together for your group, I wanted to talk to you about this series that we're doing on growing your relationship with God. And I wanted uh, to share a couple of thoughts about how you and I grow differently. And I think that's an important thing to understand as we talk about this very important subject, you know, growing our relationship with God. If our relationship with God is not growing, it's usually stagnant and it's usually stale. And just as, you know, every relationship you have around you is constantly evolving, um, and that's a good thing, um, your relationship with God is constantly growing or evolving and it's, it's dynamic. And if not, it's sort of, it, it's very stale, you know, it's sort of like you've learned some information about God, you check a box or you take a class or you get baptized and then you, you're kind of done. The rest of the, the whole experience is sort of putting in time. And boy, nothing could be more dull. And, um, and what really is important is that our relationship is this constant growing. Your, your, your mind is constantly expanding. Your heart is constantly changing because your relationship with God is always growing and thriving. And so we're gonna get into the practical parts during this series about how. And the thing I wanna focus on in this part is that it's different for all of us and that's okay. I remember when I was uh, a young follower and I, you know, I was around all these Christians at this church and it was, it was pretty new to me, but uh, they, a big thing there was, you know, people really, they prayed and they, and, and they um, were, were very much into their, their prayer and um, it was a bit uncomfortable for me. And I, I know that's probably true of a lot of you, but I always remember feeling no matter what that I, I did, I didn't feel like I was a good enough Christian, you know? And I don't know if anybody ever said that to me out loud. I don't think so, but I think it was something that I perceived. I saw the way other people connected to God and I assumed that was the way, the only way to connect to God. And so, it became, you know, like a burden that I carried around. And it wasn't until later that I realized that there are so many ways that we connect to God. And this might be new for some of you, um, because typically in a church, they'll, they'll talk about maybe two or three ways. You know, you go to church, you read the Bible, and you pray. And that kind of summarizes the whole thing. Well, Think about this just for a minute. For years, there was no church. For 300 years, that's longer than the United States of America has been a country. Think about that. For 300 years, there was no Bible after Jesus. Not even talking about before Jesus. So two of those three ways were not even possible. And today, a lot of people can't get access to a Bible. I don't know if you know that in the world in the world. I mean, in America, yeah, you can get five different, 20 different translations uh, on a website just like by snapping your fingers. But uh, that's not the case for the whole world. And it certainly wasn't the case years and years ago. People couldn't get to a church or to a Bible. So there has to be, it has to be bigger than that. And of course it is bigger than that. And so I want to sort of set you free. I want to set you free to connect with God the way that God built you to connect with Him. And the couple of uh, stories from the scripture, you know, after Jesus' resurrection, He gets with Peter, and he, it's, it's sort of Peter's reinstatement after he really messes it up, you know, when he abandons Jesus at the end. And uh, he tells him, you know, Peter, feed my sheep, you know. And he repeats it three times. And then at the end, he says to Peter, um, I tell you, when you're older, uh, someone's going to walk you around and dress you and lead you where you, where you uh, do not want to go. And the Bible says, Jesus said this to tell Peter the kind of death that he was going to die. And um, 
And maybe he felt like Peter was ready to hear this now. Um, so Peter looks over at, at John, the disciple, and says, what about him? And I think, you know, that's so classic. Even at the very end, Peter couldn't focus on, this is about your relationship to me, you know? And that's what a lot of times happens is we worry about somebody else. And so I would say the first thing as we explore these many ways of connecting with God is don't worry about somebody else. You know, I've been a pastor for a long time now. And one of the things that I feel like I have to do is I feel like I have to protect these either new believers or people that are seeking out um, a relationship with God from the old feisty ones who are they, they, they give you the three ways. Here's a Bible, and don't ever miss church. Now, by the way, have a Bible. Love, love my Bible. I mean, uh, I mean I'm mean, i a Bible junkie. Um, truthfully, I am. Uh, I mean, I'm a pastor of a church, so I've been in as much church as probably as anybody. Uh, and um, I, I believe in the church, and I believe in the importance of it, and we're going to be talking about that. But if you limit it to these things, then um, people, they get intimidated, they get afraid, they go, I don't even understand the Bible, and I don't, and we're going to talk about how you can grow in that understanding and all of that. But all I'm trying to say is don't, don't judge people. Let, let them connect with God in the uh, wonderful way that God designed them, made them. Uh, the second thing is, you know, find your best path. So as we go through this series, I want you to find the path that works best for you. And you'll start to realize this. You start to realize that, man, I have a way that just connects me to God. What matters? Well, what matters is that you find the way that helps you connect best. Just remember that. And there are many different ways. It's natural to you. Um, I was talking with uh, my brother about this the other day, and he was talking about being at church, and he he doesn't care much for the music. Um, you know, he'll he, he's learned to adjust, and he's like, I'll I'll sit there, and you know, if they start doing too many songs, I get a little, uh, you know, I, he he waits for the message. I like the message. That's where I connect. I I, I get the 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 the, the practical um, teaching, and it helps me. And I've heard that from many people. And then you, there's other people that, no, it's the music for them. Man, they just, they can't wait for the music. And that's what connects them. And what we should realize is that God's made us different. Does it, anybody ever realize how different your kids are? And one thing will spark an interest for one kid and one other kid's not interested at all. And it doesn't mean they don't have a good relationship with you. It just means they're different. And think of all, you, all the people out there we're all different, and the way we connect with God is different. So find the way that's best for you. I love the Psalms 139. It says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made, you know, and all of us are unique, you know. Just like these flowers, right? They're so different, all kind of different shapes and sizes and colors, and God made us all different. So, so find your path, but, but know this, there is a path for you. Don't get frustrated or stuck on what, you, and, and by the way, some of you, 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 you have ways of connecting, but you were never told that was a spiritual pathway. And so you always thought, well, I, 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 I'm not a good Christian. Instead of someone pointing out to you and saying, no. So I'm gonna go through a few of them and maybe some things will jump for you. Um, think of it this way. Uh, I was listening to a guy talk about golf because I'm always trying to fix my horrendous golf game. And uh, it was a professional teacher, one of the best in the business. And he gave a little simple video and he said, look, here's what it matters at the end of the day. There are a lot of different swings out there. So if you're a golf enthusiast, you, you know this, right? You, you have some guys, you know, they have all different kinds of swings, fast and slow and and uh, one guy's like a little loop at the top of his swing and all things that they would never tell you or teach you to do if you were being trained. But the reality is they're all professional golfers. And so this guy said, look, at the end of the day, everybody does it a little bit differently. But what matters is when the club head gets to the ball, that it's 
making solid squared contact. That's all that matters. The rest is details. I thought, wow, isn't that true? We all have a different way that we connect with God. But what matters is that we connect, that we connect with God. And you're going to find your pathway. I'm going to encourage you to explore more. You know, so if you find that you're really good at one, I want to share more so you realize you can become sort of a, a well-rounded uh, person. So here's a, a few that you might want to explore, especially if you haven't really f understood what yours might be. We've talked about uh, many things, but nature is one, you know, creation. Um, sometimes that's where people really feel connected. They're just in God's creation. and 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 uh, the presence of god becomes real to them serving other people many people will tell me this you know i i connect when i'm in a soup kitchen or i'm volunteering at the church or, you know, i am you know hugging a baby in the nursery uh, i'm traveling around the world digging a well uh, that's when i connect wonderful um some people love tradition, even liturgy, um, very ritualistic things. They, they just help them. That's their, their pathway. Uh, there are other people that are, they love the music. You know, they love the, the, what we call in America, we call it worship. Worship is way more than music, but that, that part of the church service. And that's just, man, their heart just opens up. And, and certainly, man, there's something powerful about music. There's no doubt about it. Some people they engage or they, or they connect best with God when they disengage from the world and they are like contemplative, sometimes ascetic. And, and this is where you see people like these uh, monks or people that really withdraw. And um, so instead of like the old way, we think those are people that really, really connect or really know God. We just realize that's, that's their pathway. And, and then other people, they're the opposite. They they engage. They need they need to be activists. You know, they're at the streets marching for something, and all of these and many more. They're different ways. And so the important thing is not um, that one way is better, but you find your way. You get in that groove, and you, if, if it's if it's uh, nature and you know prayer and that sort of thing, then you you do that, and. Um, it's important that we are, we're well-rounded. We explore more. Um, Try being with a with a, a group of people is a great way. Um, and I would say I don't think even if you're some of them aren't your sweet spot, you 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 would still want to keep in your toolkit, right? That's why um, I always tell people like these groups, these small groups, these tribes. These are important um, and many different things because. Um, it will make you well-rounded. So you would see someone who's a golfer, go back to the golf analogy, you don't just swing a golf club, but they go to the gym and they work their muscles out in different groups and because that makes you a well-rounded person that way. At the end of the day, it's about your relationship with God. Keep it thriving, keep it alive because when that relationship's humming and you feel the connection, man, everything else becomes that much easier and, and better in life. Enjoy your study. Enjoy your discussion. God bless you guys.